This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now you can probably see a bunch of guitars behind me there. I'm filming this uh, video on the same day as I unboxed um, some Faisley guitars, and you'll have seen that video <coughs> some time ago, uh, just because of the, the filming uh, kind of schedule I've got. But we're not talking about Faisley guitars today. Uh, we're talking about something a little bit more high-end. Uh, this is just a bit of a first impressions video, and there is a, a full-on review coming up on Sunday. So what guitar am I talking about? Well, you may recall that a little while ago, I got my hands on an absolutely gorgeous uh, Music Man Axis Super Sport, one of the, uh, not the sterling ones, one of the kind of full throttle, uh, you know, kind of full fat American ones, and uh, it was loaned to me by a very, very generous uh, chap who's a fan of the channel, wishes to remain anonymous, and, um, you know, I did the, the videos with that, and um, when he came to pick it back up again, he said, um, do you want to borrow this, <laughs> uh, this guitar here? Uh, he has quite a collection of guitars, this chap. <clears throat> and uh, so, of course, I said, yes, if you're not familiar with what this is, it is a Duesenberg. Uh, specifically, it is a Duesenberg Star Player TV. Um, these guitars go for about uh, two and a half grand, I believe, on the uh, on the Anderton's website. Um and you know so it's it's a kind of fairly old chunky purchase if you want one of these and i've been curious about this brand for a while um i think mike campbell um tom petty's erstwhile guitar player uh, has his own signature model based on this i believe and uh, <clears throat> yeah i've just always kind of quite like the retro vibe about it i like the um it's got sort of a bit of gibson les paul going on it's got a bit of gretsch going on it's just it's a guitar that manages that most difficult of things i think um certainly in the looks department it looks familiar yet it looks distinctive and not like anything else um so as i say just a, a quick little first impressions video today to see what i think of it and then we're going to do um you know a full-on uh review video on uh, sunday i think we'll uh, get around to doing that um just for the uh, the purposes of this video here i'm going into the uh, the blue guitar amp one mercury edition on the vintage channel what else frankly do you see me using these days um and we're just going to run through what this guitar uh, sounds like in terms of the feel well we'll talk about that later but it's a two and a half grand guitar so it better be good it kind of is, but I'll talk about that uh, in a moment. So, <clears throat> volume on full, tone on full on um, on the guitar, going into those settings that you saw earlier. Uh, the sound that we're getting is this. <laughs> Apologies, my fingers uh, weren't quite as cooperative as I would have liked there. Um, you know, as you can see, if we look closely there, we've got a humbucker at the uh, bridge. Quite a sort of, just from the sound of it, quite a vintage-y kind of um, output humbucker and a P90 in the neck position. Always a good uh, combination of... Um, of electronics i think single volume and single tone control three-way pickup selector the wonderful Duesenberg trem which as we'll hear shortly um you know 
does everything that you expect of a vintage trim like this. You're not going to be dive bombing this like a Floyd Rose, but that you know, that's not what it's for. It's like um, you know, criticizing this for not having Floyd Rose capabilities would be like criticizing the uh, the off road capabilities of a of a Ferrari, I suppose. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, allergies are particularly bad today. Anyway. Um, let's do the usual test that I do. I'm going to roll the uh, the guitar's volume back and see what sort of uh, cleaned up sound we get from uh, just without touching the amp or anything, just from the from the guitar. Cleans up like this. Yeah, it just makes you want to start playing all kind of uh, <coughs> cheesy kind of surfy sort of stuff, doesn't it? Uh, it does me anyway. Um, yeah, let's just roll that tone control back a little bit, see if we can warm it up a bit. It was a little bit, um, a little bit brittle in the high end there. So let's just again, same sort of sound. I'm on the neck pickup here. Uh, let's see what uh, rolling the tone control back does. Yeah, you'll have to excuse me. I dropped my pick halfway through playing that. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, tone control is... Um, it actually works as a tone control. Um, it's not sort of um, like a lot of so more budget guitars. Nothing, 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 nothing. And then suddenly it's like you're, you're listening to the amp with a bank... Uh, listening to the, the sound of the amp with a blanket thrown across it. Let's try that in the middle position. <laughs> And on the bridge pickup. So it does a, a fair, a fairly good, I would say, in fact, very good uh, cross section of what you would probably call as vintage kind of rock tones. You know, I'm, I imagine, you know. The, uh, the intro to Johnny Be Good would sound pretty good uh, on this guitar. Let's try it. You know that moment when you forget what you're supposed to be playing? <laughs> um, yes, anyway, but yeah, it's got that sort of 50s rock and roll kind of retro vibe going on, which is exactly what you expect from a guitar like this. Um, Nice wobbles from the uh, from the old Duesenberg trim there. Let's just now, for a little bit of uh, silliness, uh, throw a bit of gain on. So once again, um, those settings on the amp and uh, my favourite drive sound, the uh, the new X Horseman pedal. Let's see what that sounds like going into the front end of it.
Yes, indeed. Um, <coughs> you know, it's um, it may not be a guitar that the primary purpose is is going to be tones like that, but it can certainly handle them when you throw them at this. Um, in terms of construction, we've got, as I say, I'll put like a, I'll do a full video on this on Sunday, full weights and measures video. But we've got uh, locking tuners, um, which I believe are just Dusenberg's own brand, I think. Yes, um, we've got a one-piece maple neck. We've got a body which is made from laminated spruce and laminated flame maple. And I don't know if you can see on the back there, but there is. No, oh, well, this is coming. Yeah, you can see the kind of uh, the flame, the subtle kind of flame maple on the back there. Um, would have been nice to, to have that on the front. Why hide something like that? But you know, um, that's just a personal taste thing. I'm loving the kind of spongy feel of this trem, and um, I'm going to have some fun putting um, a nice little demo of this guitar together. I think um, the action was a little bit high. Um, when uh, the, the the very generous chap, who as I say wishes to remain anonymous, when he dropped it off, um, but I've lowered it to um, you know kind of a whisper above the frets now, and there's not a, a hint of fret buzz or choking out or anything like that. It's it's an immaculately um, put together guitar, and um, you know it's beautifully set up with just that little tweak of the action. Um, yeah, I'm going to have fun with this, um, and you will see the results of that on Sunday. But that is the video for today, folks. Just a quick little first impressions look at the Duesenberg Star Player TV. Lovely little retro guitar with, um, you know, kind of modern build quality, really. Uh, best of both worlds. But as I say, that's it for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video and found it uh, entertaining and informative. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it. Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars. Great way to kick off the weekend, and I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Bye.